blue skies above Gatwick for those escaping the heat this weekend, but they'll be quieter than planned from next month after Britain's second busiest airport cut thousands of flights to avoid chaos during its summer peak. Gatwick normally operates 900 flights a day in July and August, but will now limit daily flights to 825 each day in July, rising to 850 daily in August. In total, that will cut nearly 4,000 flights, around 7% of the total. Gatwick say passengers will be moved to similar flights and EasyJet predicts it will be able to reaccommodate anyone affected. But it still leaves Abby and thousands like her wondering if their holiday is one of those that will be affected. I have to fly into Lisbon Airport and then I have to catch a bus on a predetermined day that I've booked a ticket for for a five-hour trip to the festival site. So it's, if I miss this bus, there's, there's no just, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just get the next one, oh, well, I'll just grab a cab. It's going to be very difficult to actually make my way to the festival. Flights are being cut to avoid a repeat of huge delays over the Jubilee weekend, when staff shortages at airports around the country saw airlines cancel a thousand flights at short notice. Heathrow avoided the worst of the disruption and are confident they'll do so again after British Airways cut 10% of its schedule. But the boss told me it will take time to return to normal. I think it'll take 12 to 18 months for the whole industry to get all of its capacity back to where it was before the pandemic. And that's not just uh, across the UK, it has to be across Europe as well, because uh, we are affected by staffing issues at other airports around the world. Very skilled jobs have been lost, and now we're having to, as an industry, recruit people back, train them up again to be able to serve passengers. And that just takes time. Even here, there are 12,000 vacancies across airlines, security and support services. The airline industry shed tens of thousands of workers during the pandemic. Once the skies reopened, restrictions lifted, they have simply been unable to staff up adequately to meet our demand, long denied, to get away and start travelling again. Manchester, Birmingham, Cardiff and Edinburgh airports have all said they have no plans to cut flights. That promise and passenger patience will be tested shortly. Paul Kelso, Sky News at Heathrow.